Judas. Greed mode. Tons of fun. Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to hell. For today, I am trying greed mode with Judas. Yay. Admittedly, with damage like that, I might be able to one-shot things. But, this is likely to be hell. So, let's make sure we can one-shot things. I need to one-shot everything. Or, basically one-shot everything. If I wish a chance to live. Don't create spawners. No one likes things that create spawners. My damage! Okay, okay, alright! Good! Glorious! Now, despite the fact I get bonus gold, if I do stay here, I am Judas! Meaning, I need money. Or health, I should say. Uh oh. Is uh oh a real uh oh, or an uh oh as in. Oh god, it's that. It's that item. I should not have used my Book of Belial again. Oh, for heaven's sake. Dangle, are you serious? A super dangle as well? Oh good, you're dead. I survived a round of greed mode with Judas! I am happy with this result. I wish I could have bought the dog food on the first floor, though. As a first item, though. Rather than the caffeine pill. What do we have here? Mass room damage. I'd rather a book of a lyle. Safety pin. Health. Temporary health, but health. I just realized... If I create bombs like that occasionally, I should be able to blow everything up. Alright. So do those poops just do massive AoE room damage? It seems like they do. I don't even need to leave the room right now. I'm, like, fully healed. God damn you. Look, just because the poop bomb is somehow proving that it's not completely detrimental doesn't mean I like it. If anything, it just proves it's even more of a bastard than I ever thought it would be. Buddy in a box, what could be inside? Apparently a weird box buddy of some sort. Well, moving on, because there's no point in going to the item room, trying for a devil deal when I don't have any health, you know. A heart! Health! Hooray! You know what, can I get a couple of coins? Coin, maybe? I mean, that right there is another heart. Two coins! Meaning, a key! Meaning, that's an item room! That is so tempting. But I think I'll stick with the Book of Belial for now. Because, I mean, it is three damage. You know what? I'm starting to appreciate poop bombs. Because I didn't realise they did damage across the entire room. That is actually pretty nice. Make me tiny and give me an extra heart. Of course, it is a bloat. I mean, the poop bombs do a fair chunk of your health whenever they explode. So... In theory, I can just bite out the timer. 
and just create poop bomb after poop bomb and stuff. I mean, yeah! It's rather on the cheaper end of the scale of things, but... Hell, if I get a live... Alright. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. As Judas, I am honestly I am honestly shocked. So what options do I have for items here? First up, there is a special shopkeeper there. Special shopkeeper dropped a, p dropped a nice scent. And that scent, and there's also the option to buy a dog biscuit. That's the thing about Judas. He doesn't need damage. He needs health. What the bloody blazes is that thing up there? You know what? I feel like staying down here for now. And just dealing with everything that dies or comes on down here. Alright then. Um. What the actual hell is that thing? Is that thing asking for my Book of Belial? It can go to hell! Are there three of those things? There are three of them. I mean... This boss, this boss ain't so bad, so long as I'm paying attention to when I poop. Okay! That's not gonna hurt me, right? No. Good. Good. I can now come in here and grab my health. As well as a key. And then a coat hanger. Because that makes me fire rate, increases my fire rate tenfold. And I get a worthless fly as my reward. Yay! Is that Waluigi? I have right there. Placenta! Oh my god, that's actually amazing. You know, I admit, I kind of like these poop bombs. It's infinite... No. It's infinite bombs, really. Ah, oh, goddamn ghosts. Yay. Seriously, these poop bombs have proven to be very uh, critical to this run. I am... No longer shocked that the game tried to screw me. Well! This is working out to be pretty good. And here's a half a heart, so I don't have to waste money on hearts. I believe that's a mess up with your stats item, which I kind of don't want. So I'm just going to move back down to the next level. To the shop. And what do we have? Soul hearts. Do I actually need any more than that? And you get to die, and you get to die. We all get to die someday. And now I get two ragmen as a regular fight rather than an enemy. Or a boss, I should say. I love you, ragman. Mostly because of how much I hate you. <laughs> and apparently we now have mum. Who doesn't give a damn? Alright. Okay. Next up, two bloats! Yay! Fuck me! would be a good idea. A dog snack. You know what? That's not a bad first item. So... I may not need damage, but I do still need attack speed. Okay. 
I'm not dead, and I still have a full heart of health. And I'm against a big pink willow, who's apparently taking a liking to s to flies now instead of spiders. Cool. Glorious. That's pretty damn good of everything. How about we grab this key and see what the hell is over here in this room? Chemical peel. Damage up. Is that every other attack damage up or just damage up in general? Because I didn't see a damage up. I really shouldn't. But I really want to. I shouldn't. But I did. And it was easy. And it wasn't worth it. Speed and damage. Because I needed more damage. Ah. But this. This right here. PJs. That's what I love to see. Spoonbender. Homing shots on this character. You know, the character that can basically... At least three shot most things. Oh yeah, Book of Belial. That is something I should probably consider using. I mean, it's only all my damage and stuff, so... I swear these homing shots are messing with me more than they're helping me. You're the only thing left now. So please die. Thank you. Am I just fighting a regular Willow now? So Pink Willow is considered easier than regular Willow. Judas, have I mentioned how much I love your damage? I'm pretty sure I have. Take the heart so you get an extra health. You know what? Take the liver as well so you get an extra health. Isn't it nice when you have extra health? I fail to see the threat. I'm just fighting Willow and a dead Willow. And I got hit because I'm cocky and overconfident. Something everyone should know about me by now. See? Is that the pact? Increased shot speed and increased damage. Very nice. And another health. Jeez, it's really giving me the health. In fact, I actually have pretty good damage as well. Is the thing. Well, time for you all to die. I didn't take the pact for the... The damage. I took it for the attack speed. And to think, I was expecting to have problems playing Judas. But he's proven to be pretty fine. I definitely think the PJs came in handy, for sure. Okay, what the bloody hell is this kind of fight? Seemingly bullcrap, is all I can say. That's one gone. And the other's gone berserk because of it. Devil, you'd better be offering me something nice for this. I lost, I think, two hearts then, Mr. Devil. Jera, abundance. That doubles all items in a room, doesn't it? You know what, Mr. Devil? I think that is actually pretty damn good. If I can avoid picking up items, I should potentially be able to double my income. Is that a box of spiders? Yes, it is. I don't need that. As nice as spiders may seem they're like they are, I do like my Book of Belial. So without further ado, I don't like this floor. 
I can't fight anything. There's too much crap in one space. I'm sorry, I had a full heart of hell. Bull crap! Oh my fucking god! Those cannot do a full heart of hell. How many times must I tell you this game? They can't! They simply can't! Excuse me, Mr. Spider, come down here. I didn't mean blow up on top of me, I meant blow up the box I think is a special one. Um, that never came in contact with me. Can you fucking get hit when I shoot at you? Your hitbox is not that small! Okay. What's the boss? Mega fatty! Because there was ever a fair boss in this game. I am Judas. I can't do enough damage to kill this guy. You know what? Fucking fine. Fine! I expect this when playing Judas. I just don't expect it so bullcrappy that you fight give me the most bullcrap enemies in the game. Like double bloat. Double bloat should not ever fucking exist. Ever! Especially not when it's 20 degrees. And I'm English. Okay. I am alive. Don't think there was a health in the next area. Meaning, I am fighting a very weird Duke of Flies. Next by a Pestilence. Whose AI is still bloody broken. Yay for Pestilence, who doesn't know when he's allowed to run. And he has monstro attacks. Okay. You know what? I was wrong. There is health in here. But you know what? I didn't need it. So, caffeine pill. Dog food. Whatever the bloody hell this is. More of this. Bombs. Kaboom. Damn it. I forgot a key! Saw the exception. Screw it! And not the rule. Who the hell needs keys? Or to know what the items are! Clearly not I! I am good player! Um, excuse you. Oh, I just have to deal with stone golems now. Making making that thing down there actually fucking impossible. And to finish off today's dose of hell, I have to deal with summoners. While there is more liquid on my face than there is ability to, I don't know, an analogy. Fuck you, stone golems! Stop actually existing in my game! Goody, oh yay. Because I needed more bullcrap in my life. Go to hell. You worthless little I wanna be a good boss. Shame you're not a good boss. You're a rather poor excuse for a boss. Number two. Uh oh. Great, more uh-ohs. Then again, the uh-ohs didn't actually do me wrong last time. I just managed to die. Right. I have four HP. Meaning, I can get hit eight times as long as this game doesn't want to mess with me. Which it more than likely does. Poops. Eat my poop. My poop is a little more explosive than yours, though. Additionally, I just got a black heart out of nowhere. Because I forget that the skulls can potentially drop black hearts. Very, very rarely, but it's entirely possible. 
I also love how your pride. Oh, for heaven's sake. Brownie, stop existing. I actually hate you. You know what I hate? Sweat. It's like... Pointless. Is sweat? A black lotus. That's actually brilliantly nice. And look at me. I look beautiful with it on. Let's go down to the womb. Maybe I can get some good items. You know, that's a... You know... That's actually a pretty good item. Thank you. You listen to me. What else do we have available? Chock chock. Hmm. Create a poop. Get me more money. Stand here. There we go. I don't think any of those are useful. Uh, the liver could be useful, but... Don't think it's that useful. This thing probably is. Speed and range. Wasn't as useful as I thought it'd be. Daddy long legs. Oh, is that just the thing from the sky that just... Crushes things now and then. Lust, seriously. Go to hell. I'm sorry, but how much damage do I need to take at once? What's our bosses? Girdies and a mega girdie. What actually hit me then? I didn't see anything touch me. And it's really going for all the gird for the bosses this time. There's a limit to how much GERD I'm allowed on a daily basis, GERDY. I mean, first you send your GERDlings at me, then I have to fight two mini GERDlings, and now I have to fight a big GERDY. Do I have to fight Mama GERDY next? Maybe? Spectral Tears. Oh, that's a good one. You know what? I actually do want to try a Devil Deal. I regret this devil deal. I'm sorry, you should not be able to hit me twice with the same fucking attack. I'd better get something obscene for this. I'll certainly give you credit, that's a definition of obscene. Not quite the definition I was going for, though. Okay, you can go to hell. I'm not giving you crap. Damage and range. I just got mega amounts of damage, apparently. You know, that flaming bombs wasn't actually too bad because of the fact I'm constantly making bombs due to my poop. I think I'll take Jesus Juice at the very least, although it barely gave me any damage, and I think it was a complete waste of money. You know, it really is fun having absurd amounts of damage. Also, a guardian angel. Of one, of some degree or another. Yeah, no, Ragman. Not happening. Stop trying to pretend to exist. We both know that's not allowed. Same for you, you big evil bastard. You know what? It can't give me that bullcrap twice. I saw you there this time. Two red chests. Devil, can you ever please give me something useful? You know, like this game does on a general basis by giving me stuff like that. Backstabber. I mean, the damage was entirely my fault, because I was being an idiot, but yeah. Please tell me there's the ability to re-roll. Ooh! HP! Or life enemy life bars. Yes, please. What the hell is that? Tastes like sin. Hmm. 
Well, I'd rather not deal with the curse of not knowing my health at the moment, so... I think I'm good for now. Okay, so that does like a hundred damage each time it blows up. And I hit for... 550 damage when I haven't used the Book of Belial. What is it now? 300-ish. That was pretty good. I only got hit once. I didn't even waste a black heart. Oh my, a mighty angel of all supremeness. Whatever will I do? How about kill it? Now the great question is, do I want to risk the devil deal? And from previous experience, I'm leaning towards a big fat no. I'm just gonna buy some soul hearts, and then I'm just gonna head straight for the boss. Because I can see how much damage I deal to the boss now. I love the spider mod. Although I must admit, I look obscenely disturbed right now. That's why I bought a third soul heart. Or whatever. I got you, Mr. Greed. I just hit my own bot. My own poop bomb. It's been a while since I've done something like that. I have to admit, Greed. Ul Ultra Greed. It's gonna feel nice killing you without cheesing you. Assuming I'm able to concentrate on you and not the fact the sweat dripping off my face. Because, Jesus Christ, this temperature. I didn't realize you're more vulnerable when doing that channeling ability, though. That's actually really cool to note. Bye bye, Ultra Greed! My shadow has appeared in the basement. I'm not sure how I feel about my shadow appearing in the basement. It sounds pretty ominous. Well, I've got over 50 coins to put into this machine. Let's see if I get anything good. I do not. I did it in, l in an hour. Well, that's actually pretty damn good. There's only two people left I haven't killed it with. And one of them I actually like. Isn't that right, Kane? Mostly because I don't need to use key I don't need to buy keys on you. Apparently. Either that or you start with a key. Which I think might actually be the case. What's also fun about Kane is he actually has above average damage. To make up for the fact he starts with negative. What is with us summoning all the stone golems? Seriously! Oh, Kane, you're such a good boy, aren't you? What's this do? Hold me. Gives you a random pill. Mum's lipstick and meat. Fun! You know what? Screw it. What's the harm? I have an extra HP now as well. You just had to hit me once, didn't you? My god. A Ouija board or nails? Well. Oh, the nail. Oh, that's even better. I thought that was piercing nail uh, nails, not a temporary demon form. I'm fine being reduced to 2 HP in exchange for that. Speed. Rotten pork chop. Apparently gives me health. So that gives me health, damage, but reduced. I'm not sure how good this demon form has actually proven to be. Then again, it gives me a soul heart, I believe, when I activate the form, so... It makes it... It actually gives you a little bit of leeway for fighting things. 
Oh, Peep. Peep is fine. The bloat isn't. The only thing that makes the bloat unkillable is the is the bloody brimstone attacks. Thank you for dying, Peep. One thing left to fight. Whatever the bloody hell it is. I am so much better off just focusing one and then attempting to murder the other later. See? I only lost, lost half a health for that. Krampus gave me Rage of Krampus. As much as Rage of Krampus could be useful, it's not in this circumstance. So thank you, but screw you. What do I want? I want chaos. Because chaos sounds like fun. The lovers, that gives me two health. Spoonbender. All right. <gasps> yes. I get now get three hits at the beginning to work each and every run with. Apparently I got Stompy from somewhere. Unless my demon form is what gives me Stompy. Come on, bloat, you got 12 seconds to die. Boom! No stupid death heads things. Okay, first up, can I get a notification that I've been hit? You know, a sound notification, like I meant to. Second, can you stop spamming those things? Why didn't I get any sound that I had been hit? Oh, that's bloody useless. Why give me the something so useless? No, if you're gonna give me something useless, I'm going to restart the run. Pentagram. You know, that's not useless. Those sticky bombs are a little less useful, but... Hey, I won't be... I won't... Uh, complain, it's still not useless. I'm sorry, is that a coin in a... in a glob? I've worked out the, the use of the sticky shots. Um, would you care to explain to me, like, why every other shot took damage? So the sticky shots don't actually hurt them until they've exploded. And for enemies that like to, you know, duck away, it just doesn't do anything. But then for some enemies that like to, you know, simply exist, It actually works quite effectively. Right, um, what the hell is this? Game-breaking bug right away. I'll take the health, too. And you know what? I will go for the devil. Those sticky exploding shots certainly seem to be useful. Would you mind, uh, not being completely bullcrap and unhittable? You stupid thing. I kind of want that, but at the same time, I don't think I should grab it. I'm going to grab it. Adam's knife. Deal double damage on the first strike. That's a mod item. What the hell does that do? Well, at least I'm back up to 2 HP. That's pretty nice. Um, so far I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed with whatever well, there's that... no peril in the task. With there that... can be no glory in its accomplishment. Yeah, getting hit by multiple bomb things is very effective against bosses. Do you like my explosions, little horn? I tend to. 
I find that pretty good. Pills! <laughs> Let those dirty... But most importantly, keys on offer! Think I need four in total. Maybe five. Blind tears. Did that not just darken part of the room? That knife is very nice. That was worth two HP. It's not going to be worth it versus the bo the boss, but it was worth it for the for getting to the boss. Isn't that screw shot? Screw tears and shot speed up. That's not what I thought it was, but... Death's head bullcrap! Go to hell! You have no reason to be existing right now! I almost died because I ran into that. Curiosity, right. I need health. And obsession. A fair amount. So, sorry, items, but you may seem like you're very useful, but health is more useful. Now, if only I could get an explosion of some sort, because I, I don't think that'll... Nope, the explosion tears do not work on... Adam's thing, it seems very good at dealing with... Mooks. Maybe not so much bosses. There we go, Mr. Devil! What is it to me you offer? A farewell stone! No. The glitch! I'll take two soul hearts, thank you! I think I bought either the just and the right amount of keys or one key too many. Tear Blasts plus Poison Bombs. And then a dolly. I love my dolly. Excuse you, but I'm going to have to ask you to die. Where the bloody hell is it? It disappears way too quickly. Thank you. You are bloody kidding. Oh, you are triple kidding me. I fucking hate this boss. It doesn't work. Because the chance you get to attack, it just attack has already ex bloody attacked again. And the bloody blood clots go to hell. And what the hell was that heart anyway? Impressive. Oh, hell. This is not actually so bad because I'm Kane, thus I can only attack from one direction anyway. I don't think the devil deal's worth it right now, so. HP up, you feel protected. Do I? I certainly feel protected if I'm getting damaged like that. Right. Okay. So, you took a heart off me. Are you at least going to recover one? No, you're not. How rude. Um, why did you suddenly launch a different direction? Little horn, blow up already. Those are my explosions, little horn. I think you'll find they're superior to yours. I love these exploding tear blasts. I love them so much. Almost as much as I hate this room. Guppy's collar. For a heart. I hate you, Mr. Devil. Why do I even bother with you? You're clearly nothing ever useful. Same with these blue fires. Alright, Kane. We're almost at the end. Do I think you're capable of killing it? Honestly? No. But this one is offering soul hearts for... on offer, so... Mm. 
You guys don't have that much health! Jesus! I keep getting hit because by the time I- They, they shouldn't be dead, they're just not dead! Jesus! I love how that wasn't even the boss. Okay. I'm buying health. As much as I can bleeding carry. There. That should do. Can I kill... Uh, what am I call it? I'm honestly highly doubtful. Maybe the explosions will do enough. But I would imagine that he has explosion resistance. Hello, Ultra Greed. I don't know how you didn't hit me then. At least thanks to Adam's knife, I shouldn't have too much trouble dealing with sir dealing with a lot of enemies. What the bloody hell even hit me? Stop eating all the coins, Greed! You know, I really don't mind you getting extra health every now and then. Because I tend to find it doesn't actually help you that much, Ultra Greed. I have six hearts left, and you have about a quarter. Working from that logic, the victory should be mine. Die, Ultra Greed! Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, yay! Explosions! They solve it in the end. Evil Eye has appeared in the basement. Well, is anything going to appear in the basement for getting over 300 coins? No. <sighs> well, there's only one character left to do it with. The character which I have done nearly nothing with. Good old Blue Boy. Well, everyone, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I have been your host through this endeavor, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night. Night.